I'm gonna show you how to start your first Freestyle Libre 3 sensor and how to get going with the system in less than five minutes. Because if you got yourself this brand new good looking bad boy, you probably can't wait to start using it. And you don't wanna read through the whole user's manual, right? Timer's on, let's go. If this is your first Libre 3 sensor, you need to go through two steps. Step one is setting up the Freestyle Libre 3 app on your phone and step two is applying and activating the sensor. You can download and install the Freestyle Libre 3 app directly from the Apple Store or Google Store. If you already have a Freestyle Libre account, sign in with your existing credentials. If not, simply create a new account. Next, you can choose units of measurement for your blood sugar levels. And you won't be able to change this later, so please select the one that you are really used to. Otherwise, you will have to do a lot of maths in your head later. You can also choose how the app will measure carbohydrates, either in grams or in servings. And this one you will be able to change later. Click Get Started and you will be taken through a few slides with introduction and initial instructions. When you use the system you need Bluetooth because that's how the glucose data is transferred from the sensor to your phone. So make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. The app will also remind you that anytime you look at the screen you will see three pieces of information. Current blood glucose number, blood glucose graph which shows you what your blood sugar has been in the past 12 hours and a trend arrow which shows you where your glucose is heading. And this can help you predict the future trend of your glucose. On the next screen you will learn how to interpret the glucose trend arrows which is super important. So feel free to pause this video here and take a few seconds to look at those screens closer. Next the app will ask you to apply the sensor. Wash your upper arm with plain soap, dry it and then clean the spot where you want to place your sensor with an alcohol wipe. By the way upper arm is the only spot that is officially approved for Freestyle Libre 3 application. So if you don't want to lose the guarantee don't place it anywhere else. Wait until your site is completely dry and in the meantime time you can unscrew the cap from the sensor applicator. If you're scared of needles, don't look into the applicator, because the needle is quite big. But the insertion doesn't hurt, so don't freak out, just don't look at it. Once your skin is dry, place the applicator over the side and push down firmly. Wait a couple seconds and then gently pull the applicator away. Next, hit the like button under this video. Just kidding. Next you need to activate the sensor. But you can still hit that like button if you're getting value out of this video. Video. Now to activate the sensor go back to the Freestyle Libre 3 app on your phone, click on scan new sensor and hold the top of your phone close to the sensor until you hear a beep. The beep starts a 60 minute warm up period. And this is a perfect time to set your alarms, your ideal range and look a little bit closer at the sensor design. Libre 3 sensor is way smaller than the previous Libre generations. That makes it look really cool but it also means that the contact area for the sensor adhesive to stick to your skin is way smaller and that makes it quite easy to pull the sensor out by mistake. So if you do a lot of manual work with your arms or you do any contact sports, it might be worth considering an overpatch to protect the sensor. Skin Grip already came out with the prototype of Freestyle Libre 3 patches. They were so kind to send me these Libre 3 patches to test and to sponsor this video. So I tested them and I really like them. I think they are of a very good quality, similar to the other patches that Skin Grip is making for the previous Libre generations. The Libre 3 patches should be launched in the Skin Grip online store soon. And as always, I have a link in the description of this video, which will give you 10% discount. Now we're still in the 60 minute warm up period. So let's set the alarms and the target glucose range. Alarms can be set in the alarms section and you might need to configure phone settings and allow permission for the Freestyle Libre 3 app to receive alarms. You can set your low glucose alarm anywhere between 60 and 100 milligrams per deciliter, your high glucose alarm anywhere between 120 and 400, and you can activate the signal loss alarm which will warn you when your phone is not able to receive the data from the sensor. And this typically happens when the phone is too far, usually in the other room. All these alarms can be turned on and off anytime and you can choose two different sounds. <laughs> The sound level of the alarms follow the sound level setting and the vibration setting of your phone. If you don't want the alarm to play a sound and appeal on a lock screen, you can turn off the do not disturb function for each of the alarms. Shkidish. And this will prevent all the alarms except for the critical ones. Now with Freestyle Libre 3 you can also adjust your target glucose range. If you go to settings and click on report settings, you will see that by default the range is set between 70 and 280 milligrams per deciliter. Which is okay because this is the generally recommended target for all diabetics. You can't make the range wider, but if you want, you can narrow it down to challenge yourself and to achieve tighter control, which I would definitely encourage you to do in the long term. Once the 60 minute 
insulinoma passes, you will automatically start receiving your blood glucose data from the sensor in the Libre3 app. The number will update every minute for the next 14 days. You don't need to scan your sensor, you don't even need to look at your phone, because the readings will be automatically recorded on the phone and uploaded to your LibreView account. If something unusual happens, the app will alert you with the alarms, as long as you set them up correctly. The thing is, if you want to take the full advantage of what the Freestyle Libre 3 offers, it's not enough to set it up correctly. You also need to avoid critical mistakes that many Freestyle Libre users are making. And that's why you should not ignore this video, where I talk about the four most common mistakes and how to avoid them. Click it and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao!